All right, just like the Cox employee told me that he emailed me back, Cox has finally done it. The Cox money grab has arrived. Look at this. My usage is only 32%, which I'm pretty proud of. Well, actually, I'm disappointed in myself, really. 324 gigs, that's it. And the cycle started on the 7th. But anyway, so where is the money grab? Now, if you look at this is my usage right here. If you scroll down where it says need more data, upgrade here. Keep in mind you're limited no matter what tier you have currently. Well, if you have Gigablast, it's 2 terabytes. But you're limited to 1 terabyte. But if you need more data, you click here for upgrade here. And here it is. Look at that. $50. For unlimited, so 50 extra dollars a month, so mine's 99. So it'll be, you know, 150 a month. And you can get 500 if you just want the 500 additional, 29.99. Now, the question I have is who in their right fucking mind is going to spend $30 to get 500 extra gigabytes, and then if you go over, say you do a lot of extra streaming that month, no, you can't assist me. And, you know, you go over by, you know, you go over your additional 500. Each additional 50 gigs is $10. So why the hell wouldn't, you, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Why the hell wouldn't you just spend the 20 extra dollars a month on top of the 30 and get the unlimited so then you don't have to worry about it? Because I stream some movies from my, my Plex server. Like in my house, the data doesn't count because it's on my home network. But if I'm not at my house, there's some movies on there that are like 12 gigs, you know, 1080p or, uh, you know, and then the 4K Blu-ray rips are even higher. So you would easily go over the 500 and then have to pay another $10 per 50 when for the additional $20 or more, you could pay 50. So <clears throat> I am upset that Cox is, you know capping your data now but on the plus side only fifty dollars more to go unlimited i was really wondering i thought it was going to be a hundred or more dollars more a month to go unlimited so fifty dollars isn't bad i'm going to go with the unlimited they don't start charging until september so i'm not going to jump on there and get that now because the uh the billing cycle where they start charging for overages i believe is september so I'll just buy I'll just buy that unlimited put that as an add on at the beginning of the month so I don't have to worry about it because I have a bunch of people that use my Plex server. I download games, you know, to my Xbox, my Switch, my PC. Destiny 2's coming out by the way. Um, yeah. So that's the Cox money grab. We all knew it was coming. There it is. $50 more a month. Not too bad. I mean, they shouldn't charge anything really because it's not putting an extra strain on their, their fucking, you know, their their database or their servers or any of that shit. So it's it's kind of bullshit. But fifty dollars isn't that bad. I was worried it was going to be higher. So yeah, that's the Cox money grab. And thanks for watching my video. Uh, bye for now.